This video discusses chlorosis and how to take your plants from this to this in a few easy steps. Chlorosis is broadly defined as a condition in which leaves produce insufficient chlorophyll. Specifically, this video discusses intravenial chlorosis, which is a type of chlorosis that's identified by yellowing of the leaf while the veins remain green. There are numerous causes for intravenial chlorosis, but it is most commonly associated with high soil pH, which leads to iron deficiency in the plant. This is common in our area, which is central Texas, because our soil pH tends to be pretty high. Thus, some of your acid-loving plants tend to be a lot more susceptible to this particular issue. One example of an acid-loving plant is a loripetalum. It should have this beautiful purple foliage, but uh, if the soil pH is too high or alkaline, it tends toward this intravenial chlorosis and the leaves turn a very yellow or even white color. There are several ways that you can amend your soil to lower the pH. Tilling in organic material like compost and peat moss can help. Elemental sulfur is another option, though it's fairly slow acting because it does rely on soil bacteria to turn the sulfur into sulfuric acid, and this can take weeks to months to be effective. Iron sulfate can acidify the soil much quicker in about three to four weeks. You can quickly drop the soil pH by adding vinegar but you do run the risk of stressing the plant as the pH can drop too rapidly. And also vinegar can sometimes kill off beneficial soil organisms. Also, the change in the soil pH doesn't seem to last very long. Combination products that have multiple additives in one product are another great option to acidify the soil. The particular product that I used happens to have a very fast acting iron oxide and a slower acting elemental sulfur. It also happens to have an ammonium sulfate uh, which acts as a fertilizer but also doubles as an acidifying agent. Most of the additives are used by adding the recommended amount around the base of the plant about a few inches away from the trunk and working it into the top two to six inches of soil.